Hey, who is this guy? This guy was the greatest gunsmith east of the Mississippi. He's a legend. He knows more about guns than the people who shoot him than Smith and Wesson. <laughs> don't really matter anymore. You know, we're coming the last three miles. You mind your manners. All right. You boys come a long way. What you looking for? Wisdom. You come to the wrong place. Maybe. Same man wanted to fire a bullet from one rifle and have it match exactly to another. Could that be done? Take a seat. Have a chair, son. If you could get a bullet that had been shot clean through the first rifle, could make the grooves match. Kind of thing ain't been done in a long time, though. The bullet that was taken out of the archbishop was completely mangled on impact. FBI match was metallurgical. Thank you, Mother. Yeah, but you couldn't guarantee that going in. So they had to be sure, and I still can't figure out how they could be. <clears throat> Good coffee? Yeah. Look on your left there. Second shelf down. Red leather spine. Written by a guy named Chopel. Put it there 15 years ago. Don't figure it's moved since then. Yeah, paper patching. State of the art, 1870s Africa. Paper wrapped bullet. No metal on metal going down the barrel. Grooves would match. Paper unwinds at the muzzle. Leaves no traces when it hits. Interesting question, though. Hope I satisfied you. Yeah, I got another one. I thought you might. Suppose I was looking for a man to make a 2200-yard cold bore shot. Who's alive that could do that? Seems I heard about a shot like that being made not too long ago. Said the guy's name was Bob Lee Swagger. Never met the man, so I wouldn't know. Yeah, they said that all right. They also said that artificial sweeteners were safe, and WMDs were in Iraq, and Anna Nicole married for love. Would have been a bad job to take, though. How come? Whoever took that shot's probably dead now. That's how a conspiracy works. Them boys on the grassy knoll, they were dead within three hours. Buried in the damn desert, unmarked graves out past her lingua. And you know this for a fact? Still got the shovel. Sake of argument, somebody other than him? There was a guy in Russia. They locked his ass up. Nothing in France. I know he's dead. There was one guy, but he don't shoot no more. A brutal son of a bitch. Most boys shoot to kill, he'd shoot to wound. Wait till his friends come to help. Kill them, too. Turn one target into four. Men, women, children. Killed them by the hundreds. The other side wanted him. Bad. Finally narrowed his hide down to an abandoned six-story building. They quit the subtle tactics. They called in an artillery strike. Leveled a square block. Brought the building down on his ass. Some say he crawled out of there. Some say he died. Never heard from him no more. Fuck me. What? I met the son of a bitch. Yeah, the world ain't what it seems, is it, Gunny? No, sir. You keep that in mind. The moment you think you got it figured, you're wrong. Once you've been a wolf, it's hard to be staked down like a goat. This is just one dead man talking to another. The Archbishop? <laughs> you want to take all suspicions away when you shoot someone? Wait till he's standing next to the president. What was he going to say? The truth. That nothing, no matter how horrible, ever really happens without the approval of the government over there and here. The problem isn't the doing. It's the people in power having to admit that they knew. The prisoners are tortured at Abbey Grape, and only the underlings go to jail. 
the boss is new. We know the boss is new. But you don't say it. What exactly happened in Africa? Somehow the villagers didn't think that an oil pipeline was a good enough reason to move their village to a place where the spirit gods didn't exist. Drink? So they asked them all nicely to move them when they didn't, they just killed them all? No. They didn't ask. They just killed them all. Oh. So the next village won't need to be asked. They just go. There is a mass grave with 400 bodies. Men, women, children under the oil pumping station 10 kilometers over the Eritrean border. You should know. You covered the retreats of the contractors who did the job. Of course, you were supposed to survive that dinner. Who runs Johnson? Senator from Montana, I think. You don't get it. There is no head to cut off. It's a conglomerate. If one of them betrays the principles of the accrual of money and power, the others betray him. What it is, is human weakness.